Hi, and welcome to my channel. So, my name is Katie, if you're new here. <clears throat> Otherwise, welcome back to my channel. So, today I'm going to be doing a video that's a little bit different. Today's video is a college decisions video. And so, I'm going to be applying to schools and then letting you know if I get in or don't get in. So, I've applied to Mount Royal, which is in calgary alberta i've applied to mcgill university which is in montreal and i've applied to ubc in vancouver and so um as of right now my number one choice is ubc my number two mcgill and my number three mount royal so i will let you know as the school year goes on if i've gotten in if i didn't get in and also any updates on it so hi so today okay so today is february 2nd and i'm going to be checking that was just my computer that was nothing i'm going to be checking um to see where i got in or where i didn't get in so i'm gonna check my three applications that i've sent in so far and yeah so let's get into this and i'm gonna start first with UBC because that is kind of the first one and here we go oh my nose is really itchy today sorry about that <laughs> and so this is what it says so it says undergraduate is experiencing extremely high volumes of documents blah blah, blah. it says um It'll take two to four weeks, and then it says, um, how do I get out of here? So then it says, um, February 14th will be the last day to let you know if you got into number one, and otherwise, then you could have gotten into number two, which is just their second round of acceptance. So, I'm going to check the next one. Um, yeah, I'm, I've still got, like, two weeks, so... Hopefully, I get into UBC. We'll see. So, now go to McGill. And for McGill, you have to go on to Minerva. I don't know what that's for, but it just acts like, it's just like a separate website to look on there. So, you look in there for scholarships. You look in there for anything McGill related. That's where I had to apply. And I'm going to go to admission, application, yeah, and documentation status. I think that's where we go. Okay. So it says admission term, fall 2019. Admissions or applications processed and under review. So I applied to the Faculty of Agriculture and Environmental Science and for the um, Nutritional Science and Nutrition Program. And it's freshman. And yeah, so I'm going to go on to it. It says application status admitted pending final results. I got into McGill. Oh my god. Oh my god. I got into McGill. I can't even believe that. Okay, let's look at the letter. Oh my god. This is the first one I've ever got. This is so exciting. <laughs> it is my great pleasure to offer you admission to the Faculty of Agriculture and Environmental Science at the McDonald campus of McGill University. Congratulations on your accomplishment. I have to go tell everyone. <laughs> I can't even believe that. I was not expecting that at all. Oh my god. This was like my second choice because I was like, no, I won't get into Miguel. No, I won't. Oh my god. You must confirm this by May 1st. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, it just says. It just says to send in your deposit. And then it has... Um, for citizenship, I can't believe that. Oh my god! So I got into one school so far, <laughs> and then, um, yeah. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, so I'm gonna turn this off because I need to go and tell my whole family, but um. Yeah, so I've gotten into one so far, and that wasn't that bad. All I did, 
all the application was was me self-reporting my grades which just meant because I'm a BC citizen you have to self-report your grades because Quebec can't um, access them so so this is what it says right here I'll show you the website so it, so it says admitted pending final results so when I look on the letter and so it was sent on January 31st and it says like great pleasure to offer you admission so I need 120 credits to go there meaning that yeah I will definitely have to get more credits if I'm gonna be attending McGill which I have no idea where I'm gonna be going yet um, that was very unexpected it wasn't I wasn't expecting this at all actually like at all um, and yeah, so the, what I had to do is I have to, I had to self-report my grades, which just means putting in all of the grade information for everything, all my classes for grade 11 and 12, and then what I'm assuming to get for uh, my second semester. And then since I am taking a AP exam, I just had to state that I was taking AP exam, and I'm gonna have to show my results if I do end up going there. And then I just had to fill out a little application saying my address, the school I went to, uh, if I do any volunteer activities, and just play sports, like all that kind of stuff. And so then I also just have to show that I graduated. So that's it. That, that was how I got into McGill. So I will talk with you guys in a bit when I hear or when I check in a few more days probably to see if I got in anywhere else. So. Hi everyone. So. I just, um, I was just working on a school project, it's February 5th today, and I just got an email um, from UBC, and I don't know what it says yet, but it just came up on my thing and said an email, and so we're going to look at it together. So. so I haven't heard anything yet. I checked earlier today on the UBC website, and it said my application was still pending. Um, yeah, and I applied in end of November or December, so I applied pretty early, and yeah, it's February now. So they said that they will be giving your results before February 15th if you get in for the first round. Otherwise, they'll let you know if you get in for the second round. So let's look for it in here. I've got my computer right here, by the way. Dear Katie, congratulations. Your hard work, academic achievement, and experiences have paid off. We are thrilled to offer you admission to the University of British Columbia. So, I got into UBC. Um, so, this isn't the application thing, but this is the email that I got. I don't know if you can see that. Let me try to zoom. I don't want to zoom there. what it says and it says UBC right on the top now I'm gonna go check the website and see what the website says so it says download a copy of your admission letter you'll find your admission letter at this link so I clicked on the link um, and it says right here Here's where it brought me to. So it brought me right to my admission letter. And the letter right here says, Congratulations, you have been accepted to the Bachelor of Science in Food, Nutrition, and Health program in Vancouver. Oh, this is still zoomed in. Anyway, there we go. So it's for 2019 to 2020, the winter session. And yeah, so um, I don't know where I'm going to go because <laughs> I've that's two offers now and um, yeah so I I will I'm gonna keep updating this as I do this so um, I'll show you this is what the actual acceptance letter looks like so it says congratulations it's my pleasure to offer you admission to the University of British Columbia how do I block that up here we go I'll put it like that. 
So it says, it just has all the stuff on it. And it's two parts. So then right here, it just says, you've been admitted to, and then it says the program. And then it says accepting. So I have until May 1st to accept. And that was the same as McGill. So, yeah. So I'll see you guys when I have some more information. Well, hello. So today is, it's my computer. Today is February 21st. I will show you the day. Is that going to focus? Come on. February 21st. Okay. So I'm going to be checking today to see if I heard anything back from Mount Royal. And if not, I'm assuming that I probably didn't get in because I would have heard back from now. Because um, I've already heard back from every other school. So let's check. It always says my password is wrong. So I've had to change my password like six times on here. Um, and the application for this was very easy. I just had to submit my grades. You'll focus. Okay. <clears throat> so it just says right over here, Bachelor of Science, application status. Then I click view doc status. And then it comes up here and it just says my grades are received, blah, blah, blah. It was all received, but it doesn't say anything about, like, me or getting accepted or anything about that. So, I have no idea what that means because um, I do have pretty good grades. So, I was expecting to get into Mount Royal, um, but I guess maybe they just didn't accept me. So, <sighs> <clears throat> so, I will do an update if I do get in eventually, but for right now, I think, I because I kind of just wanted to end this video. Hi, so <clears throat> it's been like a week since I filmed the last clip um, about Mount Royal, and I still haven't heard anything, so <clears throat> yeah, I'm assuming that I didn't get in by now, because you would have heard at least something. I haven't heard anything about it. Um, and I know other people have already gotten in, so it's not like I, like it's too early, so I already know that. Um, but for my decision at the end, I've been thinking about this for quite a while. Um, I'm kind of going back and forth between the two schools, McGill and UBC. Um, and there's lots of different things that are gonna push me to the decision or kind of have pushed me I'm a little towards one than the other but I still am not gonna be a hundred percent made up yet so I'm gonna do I'm gonna let you guys know what I've decided so far so my decision right now is that I will be attending UBC in the fall that's my dog by the way and so I will be attending UBC in the fall um, I haven't confirmed yet because I'm leaving my options open right until the day until like the end of April just because that's when the scholarships come up like the entrance scholarships from the school and so I want to know if I got an entrance scholarship from either school before I make my decision um, if I get one from either school whatever one is higher is the one that I will be attending because I really don't have a preference I think both schools are great both schools are in the top percent in Canada and um, the tuition's around the same. It's just Montreal is a little bit farther away from Vancouver, but um, I don't really mind. I think that if I had to, it would work out, and yeah, so that would be with travel and stuff. I think around the same cost with um, for tuition to UBC and housing versus tuition to McGill housing as well as travel expenses, so that's around the same price. So this video um i know i like watching videos like this because it really helped me when filling out applications knowing which application is the hardest and by far ubc was the hardest application of those three schools but the, like that being said i still got in so it's not like it was um too hard i found it that if i spent i spent like two weeks on it just kind of like getting it really good like the personal profile part and once I got it really good, I showed it to my English teacher and I got her to make any edits and then I edited it again and then I posted it. So that didn't take very long and the other two schools were just my transcript. So yeah. So 
Thank you for watching.